estimating a person's age is extremely important in job roles such as sales of age-restricted products, security and forensic investigations. Evidence suggests judgments of attractiveness and emotional expression change when viewing multiple faces at once compared to a face in isolation. This is thought to result from a process called hierarchical encoding, meaning when we view a display, we create an average representation of the stimuli seen. If hierarchical encoding also influences age judgment, it might reduce age estimation accuracy when viewing groups. The present study therefore investigated the effect of viewing multiple faces of varying ages in, on age estimation accuracy, hypothesizing that simultaneously viewing multiple faces would increase age judgment error of target faces and the errors would be influenced by the age of the distractor faces. Meaning when viewing a young face, overestimations would occur when presented alongside an older distractor face. The first experiment investigated age estimation of targets with one distractor face, meaning participants viewed a series of male faces either in isolation or with an age congruent or incongruent pair. Faces were either young adults aged 18 to 35 or older adults aged 40 to 75 and presented in grayscale. 30 participants completed the age estimation task and error was calculated by subtracting the age estimation from the face's real age. As figure one shows, the age of isolated faces were estimated more accurately than the age of incongruent pairs. This increased bias in judgment was in the direction of the age of distractor faces. For example, when young adult faces were paired with older adult distractors, mean bias was plus six years compared to plus three years when viewed alone or plus four years with age congruent pairs. A similar pattern can be seen with older adult faces as there was a greater underestimation of age when paired with younger faces compared to alone or with age congruent faces. A second experiment with 40 different participants followed the same methodology, however two age congruent or incongruent distractor faces were presented alongside the target faces. Interestingly, the presence of a second distractor face reduced the age bias seen in experiment one. In addition, the part Participants overestimated the age of faces in all conditions, especially for young adult faces. Results from the second experiment could be explained by a pop-out effect, which would account for the different findings of experiments one and two. Future research should investigate the relationship between the number of additional faces and error in age judgments of target faces. In addition, the use of female stimuli and coloured images would be necessary to fully understand this area. The present study's results not only contribute to the small body of evidence surrounding age estimations from faces, but could also be used to inform and improve age estimation accuracy in real world roles through the development of training and assessment.